What is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Goblin, and today I'm coming in with a story time video for you guys talking about the drunkest that I have ever been to date. Before I dive into that, I want to mention a few things. First off, I want to ask you guys to drop a like on this video in honor of some lovely BO3 gameplay. Always a pleasure to watch some BO3, and y'all know I love this game. And two, I want to ask you guys to give me some feedback on my new channel revamp. If you guys have not noticed or taken a look, I have a new Avi and banner which are both black ops 3 themed because i felt like i should really get into the swing of things and get ready for the next cod to drop so i decided fuck it you know i'm just going to go ahead and get a bo3 revamp which is done by my boy tapex ruben and yeah let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section below if you like my old you know layout or my new one and i also have like a logo which i personally really enjoy but i want to get your guys feedback on that so let me know what you guys think of the logo in the comments below as long as the rest of the revamp but anyways Let's dive into it. So, the drunkest I have ever been. I'm going to walk you guys through this night from start to finish. So, beginning of the night, my buddy picks me up. I wasn't driving this night, so I wanted to get hammered because I'm typically the designated driver. You know, I usually have my car with me. I always got my license. I'm driving around, you know, all that shit. And I don't mind it. You know, I like driving. It's just sometimes it's nice to take a break and not be the designated driver because then I can have a little bit of fun. You know, I can still have fun when I'm driving. Like, I can smoke when I'm driving, but I can't drink. So, you know, I'm sitting there in my friend's car and I'm like, you know, I want to get as drunk as humanly possible today. And I don't drink terribly often. I get drunk maybe once or twice a month, which is compared to a lot of high schoolers, actually not that much. You know, so for some of you that might sound like too much, but believe me, compared to a lot of high schoolers, that's that's not much at all. So Basically, we go to a store, not going to name the store or anything, and let's just say I went inside and I came out with these two four-packs of beer, and these beers were these one-pint beers, and they were like 7% alcohol or something. They were really weird. They weren't normal cans. They were these one-pint cans, so they were like way taller than a normal can, so they were really kind of weird to hold, and they tasted like absolute ass. They tasted like Dirt, dirty socks, sweat, you know, it was, it was awful, but, you know, the point of it is to get you drunk, you know, like, at least for me, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna be too picky with my beer, I'm 16, like, I can't go in and legally select, like, my fine, exquisite beer, like, hmm, I would like a, uh, of a German brew, like, no, like, I can't, I can't do that, I just have to get what I can get and live with it, so, you know, I drank five of these out of the eight that I had, and the other three I gave to a buddy of mine, and, to give you guys an idea, you know, downing two, you're feeling a little bit buzzed, you know, not really, not drunk at all, actually, you know, you're completely stable, able to drive and all that, you're just feeling, you know, pretty happy, pretty good. Down three, you're feeling pretty great, you know, you're not feeling good anymore, you're into the realm of feeling great. And then down four, you're just having a wonderful time, just wonderful. Down five, and you're thrown into a new realm. You know, this is at least how it was for me. So, you know, we were all sitting in a parking lot. My buddy just got off work. There was like four or five of us at this point. And we were sitting around, you know, drinking a little bit, talking, having a good time. Just, you know, Friday night with my friends, you know, just a, a pretty average, typical night sitting around the parking lot. And I was just sitting there downing a couple beers, putting them back, you know, enjoying my night. And, you know, we, we pretty much spent the entire night in that parking lot. And it sounds pretty boring, but it was a pretty wonderful night. Because when you're sober, standing around in a parking lot is horrible. But when you're drunk or high, anything is fun. Like, literally anything. Like, I could sit down and do my homework if I was, like, high, let's say. And it would just be the most entertaining thing I've ever done in my whole life. It would just be wonderful. I'd love it so much. I'd, I'd want more homework. I'd probably do like the next day's assignment too. But anyway, so you know, we're standing around and about three beers in, you know, I was, I was feeling pretty great. You know, I was talking to my friend, we had the music turned up, you know, it was a great time. You're we sitting there, you know, just standing around the parking lot and just, just having a great time. And then a couple more buddies of mine pulled up. So there was about six or seven of us at this point and they asked for a beer. I was like, can't fold. You know, I only have eight, maybe another time we'll get some more. And you know, we were sitting there, and then I put my fourth one back, and we got in my friend's car, and I'm not going to go into that, because that's actually a completely different story that I can't even tell on this channel, but we got in my friend's car to go look for someone, and, you know, let's just say, oh, we found said person, got a little rowdy, and, you know, then I, by that point, I had my fifth beer in me, you know, I was drinking it, like, in my friend's car, and it was completely down, and I, I was just... I didn't really consciously know what was occurring. Like, I was, I, everything was cloudy. Like, you know, I was 
still able to walk, but not necessarily completely straight. Like I was, you know, kind of stumbling around. I, I almost fell over a couple times. Like I, I was just really like, I, I was, I was fucked up to say the least. And I was really sweaty. Like when, when I drink, I don't know if this is, you know, how it is for everyone, but personally, when I drink too much, if I get drunk, you know, every day I feel very warm, you know, like I always have to cool myself down, you know, no matter what I could be in a perfectly cooled, like 70 degree, you know, room, like just perfect temperature and it would feel warm. So, you know, I was sweaty. I was, you know, pulling on my shirt. I was trying to fan myself. I was like, Oh my God, it's fucking hot out here, you know? And we pulled off from the parking lot after we met up with said person because we were told that the police were coming. So I don't know who said that. I don't know who came to that conclusion, but we were all like, okay, we're out. So I got in a different friend's car and he drove me home. And, you know, I kind of ran up the staircase and I laid on my bed for a little bit. And I literally, I remember just laying face down, spreading my arms on my bed. And my stomach was dead. My stomach was killing me. And I was really trying hard to hold it back because you know normally since I'm the designated driver like I drink and I get drunk but not enough to puke I've actually only thrown up from being drunk one time prior to this so you know I was laying there face down in my bed and I was feeling like shit absolute trash like I was still kind of like turned up having a good time but at the same time I was like wow I really feel awful. So eventually the stomach pain got unbearable. I couldn't do it anymore. And I ran to the bathroom and I sat down because I didn't really know what to do. I sat on my bathroom floor and I just kind of like looked around. And this part is where I start to kind of forget what happened. I remember the majority of it. But, you know, by this point, I'm sitting around in my bathroom floor and all of a sudden it just happens. I throw up. And I do it once, and then I'm sitting there, and I'm like, okay, you know, deep breaths, I'm straight, I'm good, you know, I'll wash out my mouth, go lay down and go to sleep. Then it happens again. So I'm sitting there, you know, another five minutes, I'm like, okay, let's just wait till my stomach calms down, I think I'm okay. Then it happens again. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, this isn't stopping, nothing's nothing's going to stop this, It's I'm a train wreck, this is horrible, you know, at this point, I've got my shirt off, you know, I completely pulled off my polo and my undershirt, I was just sitting there in my boxers, and, you know, I was just sitting there completely feeling awful at this point I was coughing I was you know throwing up it was awful it was a terrible experience and I ended up throwing up a total of six times that night I'm pretty sure I lost like three or four pounds I went bulimic as fuck that night you know and then I I don't really remember doing this but I guess I never made it back to the bedroom because I passed out in my bathroom and I know this because the next morning I woke up in my bathroom and my boxes were on no longer you know the door was shut and everything so it's not like I was exposed or anything I was just sitting alone in my bathroom I'm surprised my mom didn't notice me you know sleeping in the bathroom or like waking up in there I guess that was kind of fortunate but I woke up to no boxers on nothing I no sign of my boxers they were like behind the toilet and I, I was like how did that even happen? Like, how did they get there? So, you know, I woke up, I immediately just jumped in the shower. I felt like absolute shit. And, you know, I, I was feeling pretty awful that day. I don't think I did anything that day. I think I just stayed home and laid around and kind of slumped because it was awful. So moral of the story is kids don't get too drunk. But anyways, drop a like if you guys enjoyed the story. Share your thoughts on my new revamp in the comments below, especially the logo. I really want your feedback on that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.